Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, Ocean City, New Jersey, here on the boardwalk. And uh, yesterday, if you've been following the channel, we uploaded an amazing video from the Jillian's Wonderland, an amazing amusement park here on the boardwalk. But while we're here in Ocean City, I did want to check out some of the interesting mini golf courses that they have along the boardwalk. So please, follow me. Haunted golf. How can golf be haunted? We shall find out. And telling them about the fried bouffon inside. <laughs> Yeppers, I can do it forever. Fact is, I don't have a choice. I'm bolted to the ground. <laughs> Guess I'm here all summer long. I just read a book about gravity. Really? Yeah and I couldn't put it down. <laughs> As I was saying, playing this exciting family adventure is a great way to give that brain of yours a good workout. Did I hear you say workout? You know, I hate to say it, Nigel, but I've gained some weight. Why, you're nothing but skin and bones. Well, mostly bones. Bones? Oh, really? I think we could sure use some exercise, and I know a great Exorcist. <laughs> oh man. Hey, come on, Nigel. It's time to lay off those chocolate chimp cookies. <laughs> Get it? The chocolate chimp? Because you're in funky. A big one. Oh, Bones, I'm all about being healthy. In fact, I'm in great shape for a gorilla. We're just big bone. We have Buff the Buffalo. Wasn't the animatronic buffalo at the Country Bears named Buff as well? Oh. So heading into the hallways of the haunted golf. Oh, look at these pictures here. It's like a classic picture, but it, someone has painted in a horrific Loch Ness monster. That painting there. Oh, you can see the eye, the eye of the Kraken moving. Above us, there's a very spooky man hanging from the chandelier. Oh, you can see him swaying there. Oh, look at the rats. The rats have chew, 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 chewed, chewed their way through this precious painting. Skull here, look, he's actually crying. If he's crying because he has a spider on his head. Continuing into the bowels of the building. The haunted bowels. People should still have haircuts like this. Oh no, he just turned into a skeleton. All right, let's see if we can actually crack some of these balls in the holes. Down the hallway here. There's like a glowing aura around the hole. Tap it in. Quite a few golfers out here tonight as we enter this very spooky room here. Oh, there's a ghost. Coming out of that piano. Looks like there's Ghost Liberace's piano. And joining him there is Ghost Elvis. It's like a ballroom in here. We see dancing ghosts dancing through the sky. We see various dancing ghosts rotating. Oh no, there's spiders. Spiders coming out of the wall. We can get our ball through the notorious loop-de-loop, -loop, one of the most notoriously difficult shots in all of golf. Oh, not even close. All right, let's line it up. Line it up a little bit better. We'll just hit it as hard as we can. All right, let's see here. There we go. 
a nice warm fire there, keeping all the golfers nice and toasty. It's a creepy bust of a lady there. See a wedding cake right there. It says congratulations Victoria and Adam. So I guess we're on a little wedding here, a little haunted wedding. It's good when ghostly ghouls can still find someone to love. See a staircase there heading up to absolutely nowhere. This room here is completely sideways. You can see there's the door, there's a clock, there's windows on the ceiling, and then we have a ghostly couple in bed up against the wall. And here we have possibly the strangest hole, these uh, strange brown clumps. I wonder where those are coming from. Oh, just coming out of the elephant butt, sticking out of the wall for some reason. Entering the library here. You can see they have quite, oh, lightning claps outside. You can see there's some taxidermy up there. A lion. Oh, that moose. Did that moose just move or I imagine that? Oh, that rhinoceros. Rhinoceros is, is moving there. Oh, wait a minute. This is, I think this is the rhinoceros that was pooping in the other room. Uh, he must have, uh, I thought it was an elephant, but I guess they looked similar from behind. He's poked out through the room. I guess that's one way to uh, taxidermy creatures. What else we got here? We got rams, zebras, wildcat. Look, there's a creepy bear in the corner over there. Very slowly looking around. Oh, there he talks. Oh, what's this? The boiler room. It's said that this uh, boiler came from a mental institution. I guess they've now it exists here in the golf course. Oh, what's going on over there? There's little mice. Oh! It's a devil. That wasn't very good advice, devil. I thought you'd offer me something to increase my golf ability. Look at the mouse effect there. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that, Satan. Why are you living? Why do you live in the boiler? But uh, yeah, he said cheat. There's no one else in here, so I guess he said to just drop the ball in the hole and don't tell anyone. So don't tell anyone. Hole it. Oh, I can't even win when I'm cheating. It's like some toxic waste barrels. See some toxic steam. Oh. There's the devil in the boiler. Yeah, I saw him. He's in there. Walk under these barrels here. Oh, it made a noise. The butler here has his head on a tray. Oh, let's see him talking. Let's uh, sink this shot. Nice. Free game by dropping your ball in the hole. Let's see what happens. Did I? Did I win? 
few doors down, they have a mirror maze and a laser maze. Very big into the maze business here. You can see the alien with his glowing red eyes. Looks like there's an alien in the back there. So like he's wearing a disguise. No, oh, there we got a little tiny alien working the counter. And what on earth is that? Haunted Mini Golf, very, very cool. Like how they use all that technology to enhance your experience, the modern mini golf experience. But uh, I did want to head down the boardwalk here just a little bit and check out a more old school version of mini golf. And that would be Goofy Golf, the classic roadside mini golf with those classic goofy fiberglass statues. Look at that weird fish. What is that weird fish even doing? Look at the amazing paint job on these old school figures. That bright neon paint. Look at that wacky gorilla. The palm tree unfortunately has fallen on his head. The coconut has cracked his skull. Actually his skull has cracked the coconut rather. All right, let's see if we make this shot here. We've got a rubber ducky at the other end. Let's see if we can make it all the way over there. Oh, oh, I think you're supposed to just keep it in this groove here, but my ball fell out. Let's try to find it here behind the ducky. Okay, maybe we can see if you made it all the way through. The ducky poops it out into the hole, but we were not so lucky. Oh, come on, just get in there. Got this weird little multicolored shack here. I think we're gonna need a lot of velocity. All right, gonna hit this as hard as I can. Oh, it just spit out the side. I think you're supposed to get it where it goes through these holes, but actually, we can, uh, for, the, for the purposes of this video, not for this golf game, you can see what happens if you Get it all the way back in there. Oh, there it goes. Ball goes there, ball goes down. Let's see if this will spit it out into a perfect hole in one. Oh, 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 it slowed down there for a second. You got it, you got it, little ball. Nice. What on earth? Look at this hippo here, this big orange hippo. What is on his head? Well, I guess, is that just, that's a baseball cap. I guess he's wearing a baseball cap. Looks like he's actually maybe swinging a, like would have been swinging a baseball bat. Maybe he's a ball player. And it looks like there used to be someone standing on his back, there's two feet. Unfortunately, you know, these fiberglass mini golf statues take some abuse. A lot of hooligans will take their putters and, and use them to create no good chaos on these poor unfortunate figures. Oh, look at this. We have some more modern characters, the minions it's eating a banana. Yeah, these guys, people are always uh, posting them on Facebook for some reason. <laughs> but look at that lion looks kind of sad, doesn't he? Sad from his luscious mane all the way down to his blue boots. These courses are actually really crazy, but uh, it's almost as crazy as these figures. We have this pink hippo gorging on a hoagie. He's eating a, eating, a, eating a Subway sandwich there. But I uh, guess we put our ball down here and we try to hit it into one of those holes. I don't even know which one. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, let's give it another, give it another shot. Didn't go in any of those holes. Didn't go in any of them. I don't even know which hole you would ideally want it to go in. Oh, there's, there's a big hole. Let's see if it goes in one of these little holes, what happens. Oh, it just spits out down here. Here's the classic windmill obstacle. It's unfortunately not rotating, but we'll still do our best to... Uh... Did I get it in? Where'd my ball go? Where's, seriously though, where's my ball? Ball? My ball, my ball vanished. No, oh, I see it. I see my ball. There it is. It was hiding behind the the windmill blade. Oh, oh, 
Oh, there it goes. Here's a hockey inspired shot. The Flyers versus the Rangers, which one could only assume are, uh, are hockey teams. It's, uh, Oh, 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 oh. Guess you get up higher, it'll go down and try to get it into the goal. So for the purpose of this video, let's see what happens when you, when you get the ball in the goal. It rolls out and you get a near hole in one. I'm not sure what this obstacle is. It's like a hat and a slide. Well, there's my ball. Slowly going down the slide here. Slowly. We'll just help it the rest of the way. Just help it a little bit. There we go. It's an interesting hole. It actually goes indoors here. Looks like there's like a bunch of pool noodles as obstacles. Oh, it's weird. Could have been worse. Dang it. Just go in, just go in. Just go in, just, just go, just be in the hole. Go in the hole, be in the hole. There, just, just go in the hole. Just go in the hole, come on. Go in there. Just, just, okay. Uh, okay, what's the par on this hole? This hole, we have a happy little penguin. And then this awesome polar bear who's on uh, a skateboard, skateboarding polar bear. Always love a good dinosaur based mini golf hole. You got the purple brontosaurus. Wow, I think this might be my favorite hole of the bunch. We have Neon Santa, maybe like a off-season Santa. Maybe this is what he wears to the beach here in Ocean City. I don't know. Seems like it would still be too warm. We have this beautiful pirate here with his amazing lime green shirt. Yeah, I just love the paint jobs here. The paint is beautiful. And over here on this jet ski, yeah. we have the big orange, big orange monkey. Look at that. It's got a big old, big old pole there. I don't know if he's fishing or or whatnot, top of that jet ski. A Dr. Seuss themed hole here. There's thing one, thing two. It's what uh, my mom used to call me and my sister. And uh, here we have one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. If you ever gone back and, and, and read that book, it is absolutely insane. It, it quickly deviates from the idea of uh, fish and goes into pure insanity. Go back and read it. You won't. You won't regret it. Oh my gosh, look at this. An extremely radical <laughs> Raphael from the Ninja Turtles on a, uh, on a surfboard. Interesting, he's wearing those black boots. I don't ever remember him wearing black boots, but uh, yeah, I'm just glad that he's here. There's a basketball themed hole. You actually have to shoot it up here. Just try to get into the basketball hoop, but you can't do that, or maybe you can, I don't know. There's a there's a, 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 a like tube or, or, or traffic cone stuck in there. Maybe that's actually to help it go into the hole. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to get this in the basket. Oh my goodness! This hole here is completely insane. All these different colored troughs and a very sneaky snake. You know that he's sneaky because he actually has a hand just holding a ball. Most snakes don't have hands. And look at this, incorporated into the mini golf hole, they have an old uh, ski ball ring. Yeah, tremendously elaborate. Let's see what happens. Oh, 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 We're going up. Oh, it's going in. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck, but we'll, we'll nudge it into the blue trough. I think that's where it was meant to go. Blue trough into the red trough and still nowhere near the hole. Actually made it pretty close. 
so we'll just give it a little doot. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you can't even hit it in when it's an inch away from the hole. So I guess this is the final hole. You gotta shoot the ball into the back of the mushroom that the Frog King is sitting on. Easier said than done. Oh, it actually went on the, on the pathway just a little bit, but, but didn't make it. Yay! Okay, couple. So thank you for joining me here on the Ocean City, New Jersey Boardwalk as we tried out some of the new in the world of mini golf and some of the old as well. Leave a comment below. Let me know what type of mini golf do you prefer? Do you like the old school fiberglass golf or the new technologically advanced golf with robots and interactive things? But uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you like uh, this sort of video, consider checking out some of the older videos on this channel. I have uh, visited the 48 continental United States filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, in all of them. If you would like to subscribe, that would help me out quite a bit. And uh, if uh, you want to help contribute to the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard every month. Also selling three separate types of enamel pins in the Etsy shop. All that just helps keep this train on the tracks, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, this one's in the bag.